Good morning on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Let's start today off with feeding and a little bit of Nellie grooming. Well, a little bit of Nellie hugs. <laughs> So last night it got a little bit chilly here. Thank goodness it did not frost. I have some, of course I've got seedlings in the greenhouse, but I also put a couple of things out that really got too big to be in the greenhouse anymore. So if it frosts again, I'll just have to throw a frost blanket over it or something. And I really hope that we're done with the cold weather because all the beautiful peach trees are blooming and I just, I worry so bad about the peach farmers and the strawberry farmers around here. But I noticed that everyone has their strawberry plants covered right now. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe we're just not going to have any more. I, I really hope so. Because Easter's coming early this year. It's coming in at the end of March. So, planting has always been done on Good Friday. So, if we're not going to have any more, um, cold weather between now and Good Friday. Maybe it's over. I'm just really hoping so. It's okay, Nelly. It's okay. Yes. You get some good carrots just because. Just because you let me love you. What have you got on you? Oh, you've got pine tree sap. You've been rubbing on a pine tree, haven't you? Hmm? Come on. That rooster's trying to get your food, isn't he? Mm. You know what? You're still spooky, but you're a lot better than you were. Mm. You're at least letting me put hands on you, love you. Can I have a hug? <laughs> Can I have a hug, Nellie? Huh? Can I have a hug? A good Nellie hug. Oh, sweet Nellie. Oh, sweet Nellie. Okay. Mama will give you a good brushing in a minute. I gotta go feed these chickens. And I'm gonna let you eat your food and then mama will come in and brush you, okay? Good girl. Ready, Dixie? So after I got done with Nellie and the feeding, I've came out to the greenhouse and worked a little while, but I had to come and put some things in the garden. When I got out here to get some of the weeds and stuff, you know, that surround the holes in the lazy garden to try to clean it, you know, I've got all those uh, turnip greens that I got from Brooke and Jason over at Coghill Farm, but that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is, um, I'm harvesting some today, but I just want to show you this. Y'all are going to love this. That is some of them cog heel honeybees right there. 
They are just loaded down out here on these yellow flowers. They're just buzzing all around me. I know you can't hear it, but they're just all over the flowers out here. All right, take that back to the hives. Lots of activity out here. Lots of blooms. The beginning of the weed mat laid down so the plan is and let me move it over here so you can see right in that area there on all the ends is going to be an arbor at the gateway and then in the very center of the cross here is going to be like some kind of water feature whether it be a bird bath or I mean I don't know um, it's going to be surrounded by roses on the uh, triangle part of the corner there and um, in the bed areas it's going to have drip tape irrigation and um, I'm going to be making rows that's where I will plant the like the corn and the peas but also in two of the squares is going to be nothing but flowers 
Now, around the borders of those beds is where all the herbs are going. So, I know that I'm expanding it back that way. Yeah, that way. Yep. <laughs> I know I'm expanding it back that way in that area there where we still got some stuff piled up but um that will be just future work i'll always be improving it making it bigger etc but that is the plan for now so i'm going to be putting up a fence i'm going to be getting some roses and some uh i know some jasmine i love jasmine but i will be getting you know some different um variety of plants to go in there that's why i'm gonna have to make it bigger i'm also going to go back with it further back so right now i'm starting with this area i think it's maybe 25 by 35 is the area so when i get it done then i'll go back with it but um yeah that's what we're doing so the potage garden is on the way and we are working on it today i've got everything planted in the greenhouse and it's all um gonna be ready very soon to go into the ground i'm getting the lazy garden ready to plant some stuff in there so once the weatherman gives us an all clear and i'm just really hoping that because easter's coming early and i've always planted on good friday I'm, I'm just hoping that we get the all clear this time and I'm ready in two weeks. I'm ready to have stuff in the ground y'all Well, I can't say that I've already got stuff in the ground But I've got some frost blanket. So I do have some zucchini in the ground and I do have some pink eye purple whole peas in the ground <laughs> I couldn't wait y'all. Oh But that's who I am So yeah, let's do this Y'all farm on. <laughs>